Well, talk to us a little bit about your vision for the future of Xterity. You've now, you've got a, what I would consider to be a phenomenally massive footprint um, in terms of, you just mentioned you're opening up another office. Uh, talk to us about where you see, you know, how you see the future playing out and where you see the growth and, and, and you know, staying, I, I assume you're staying with the channel model. That's, that's not going yes, away. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So talk to us a little bit about more about that, if you could. And then I want to ask you to give us five takeaways, if you can, for CEOs watching this who might have been sitting, in, you know, sitting where you were sitting 10 years ago and saying, okay. I'm thinking this is a pretty cool, I've got an idea, what do I do next? <laughs> yes, okay, okay. So uh, for us, uh, growth is coming through our international expansion primarily. Um, still today, 80% uh, of our revenue is coming out of Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And, uh, you know, that's great. That makes us a real strong player in Europe. But there's as much business opportunity in the U.S. There's as much business opportunity in Asia. And we're just beginning, really, to develop that. Our office in, in, in Atlanta opened just over a year ago. And we're really seeing the benefits of that in terms of uh, the growth of our business. Our office in, 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 uh, in Asia is opening. And, again, we're seeing the beginning to the benefit of, of that decision. So, for us... Uh, growth is about geographic expansion. I think alongside that, there are some really interesting technologies coming along. Uh, you know, there's some interesting things that we might then think about doing to try and uh, grow our technological capability a little bit faster uh, in terms of bringing a few more technologies on board that might help us uh, uh, address some of these evolving requirements. And uh, you know, th those things are you know they're strategic and they're important. Uh, but they can be quite challenging. Uh, you know, acquiring new technologies can, can always be an uh, you know, interesting exercise, but one that's worth, uh, worth going through. So you know, I think that for us today, in terms of growth, that's really what it's all about for us. It's, it's, about, the, um, it's about the regions, the, ge the, the geographies, and it's about bringing on board some interesting products that will help uh, stimulate and drive uh, that ongoing delivery of our solutions. Great. Now, in, in terms of some takeaways, I guess uh, probably you've asked for five. I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm quite sure I can give you at least five. <laughs> uh, you know, I think first of all, uh, you said somebody's got an idea, and, they, and I think that's great. I think the belief in that idea, uh, belief is is really key. Doing this for ten years now, uh, still as enthusiastic as the first day that we we set the company up, um, but that demands belief, and and I think it demands you know a a, a, a belief in uh, a long term. You know, long-term engagement. You know, it's uh, it, sometimes I guess when I set the company up, I probably thought, yeah, we'll do this for two years, we'll sell it, and we'll be off. Uh, Ten years later, we're still driving and growing the business. And I think you have to, as a, you know, as a, a CEO or a prospective CEO, I think you want to be thinking that you know this could be a 10, 15, 20-year journey. And do I have the energy for that? I'm prepared to commit to that and make it happen.